When working on IXL, one of the easiest ways to find a skill that I want you to work on is to use the code that I give you. So IXL works with a three letter or digit code that you can type right up here in the search box. And that way you can get right to a skill that I want you to work on without having to figure out what the title of it is or search around the site for it. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Let's say I want you to work on um, subtracting numbers. I wouldn't have you work on this, it's way too easy. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give you a code to get to this place without having to search for it. So <clears throat> if you can see where my cursor is, there's a three digit code. So this one is letters and numbers and it says X6Y. So if you were at the home page for IXL, all you would have to do is go up to this search bar and I would have given you the code X6Y. And you can just type it into the search bar and press enter. And as soon as you do that, it takes you right to the lesson that I want you to work on. So like I said, this is not a lesson that I'm going to have you work on. It was just an example, but this works for math, for language arts, for anything that I give you. So if I give you a three digit code, all you have to do is come up here to the search bar, type in a code. So I'm going to type in 4C2, enter, and then you will see, you'll see that you get some search results. So it gives you a few different things that could be the correct uh, skill that I want you to work on. So if you ever get to a place that looks like this, you want to look for where it says matched skill ID. So it's matching you with this skill for C2. So this is what I want you to work on. Greatest common factor. Okay. So you would just click on this and then it would take you right to the skill. So sometimes when you type in the skill, and press enter, it'll bring you right there. But sometimes there's a few different things that they're thinking, well, maybe that's what they meant, maybe that's what they meant. But if it says match skill ID and, and you see that code that you just typed in, then that's the one that I want you to work on. And I'll always tell you what you're working on so you'll be able to see if you're you know, working on the right thing or not. So that's just a basic overview of how to type in skill numbers to get some uh, lessons that I want you to work on with IXL.